lying down today. I just want to try to bring my, I can never really figure out the screen. So forgive my, that non-technological side of me, if you can't see me very well, I think you can right now. So yeah, just find a way to lie down in a way that feels nourishing to your body, either with the legs stretched out or maybe a bend in the knee and the feet on the ground. Just getting a settled into a posture that you can just sort of be in for the next few minutes. And just beginning maybe by closing your eyes if that's comfortable to you, just to encourage the mind to settle on the body, just like the back of your body is settling onto the mat. And we can begin here maybe just by taking a few full and deep breaths, maybe feeling the chest rising with the in-breath. And with the out-breath, just an invitation to really allow yourself to let go into the mat, your whole body melting into the ground through your back body. And then again, breathing in deeply and fully, lifting the chest, lifting the heart. And a complete exhale, feeling the sensations of letting go. And ultimately just allowing the breath to find its natural rhythm, whether it's short or long, deep or shallow. Just noticing the breath and the quality of the breath moment by moment. And maybe bringing the attention just for a moment to feel your whole back body that's connecting into the earth through your mat. And just inviting it to settle into the ground even more in this moment. Just by bringing the attention into the body, inviting it to relax as best as it can. And as you bring your awareness to your feet, just allowing your feet to relax. Moving up into the ankles, the lower legs, the shins and the calves relax. Feeling your knees from the inside out, relax. Up into the upper legs, and just relaxing the muscles in the upper legs. And as you relax the hips, maybe feeling them melting down into your mat a little bit more, releasing any tension in the buttocks. The belly soft with each breath. Feeling the ribs moving up the side body into the center of the chest. And just noticing if there's any tightness or tension there. We often carry a lot of tension in the heart, in the lungs. And just see if you can just soften that whole area, the chest area of your body. Feeling your lower back relax. Moving all the way up the spine through the middle of the back and the upper back. Maybe feeling the left shoulder blade melting down into the mat a little bit more. Along with your right shoulder blade. And then softening the muscles in the neck all around, the jaw, the eyes, and the whole face relax. And then when the next in-breath comes, just lift your arms up overhead and then stretch them all the way out behind your body so the tops of the hands will release into your into the ground behind you and then with each in-breath just 
feeling the fingertips stretching away from the body a little bit more, maybe stretching the toes forward as you stretch the fingertips back. And then exhale, just feel everything melting again. Feel the arm softening, the shoulder softening, the leg softening. And then inhale, stretching everything long again, like a good cat stretch. And then exhale, release, soften the body again. We'll just do that a couple more times. Inhaling, stretch. Exhale, relax. Inhaling, stretching the body long. Exhale, relax. One more last time. Inhale, a good stretch. And then exhale, release. Uh, just feeling the sensations of letting go again for a moment. And then from here, we're going to sort of take the shape of a banana. So we're going to keep our torso in place and then just move the legs over to the left as best as you can. So we're not moving the buttocks, just the, the, le the legs and the feet. And then the same with the arms, moving the arms over to the left as best as you can. So you're forming that shape like a banana almost over to the left. The head can stay straight, looking upwards, so having your eyes closed. And then just begin to breathe into this shape that you've created with your body. Long and deep in-breaths. And then complete out-breath. Feeling the relaxation, feeling the sensations of letting go. So a few in-breaths and out-breaths in this way. Just feeling that whole side body stretching open for you. And also noticing the quality of the breath in this particular shape that you formed with your body. And as much as you can, still breathing with a sense of ease and relaxation. Allowing the muscles in the body to stay relaxed as best as possible. And then on the next exhale, we're just going to move the legs and the arms back to center. And you probably know where we're going from here. We're going to now move the legs all the way over the right, to the right as best as you can, followed by the arms and becoming a banana on the other side now. And then just infusing the shape that you've created with your breath again. You might notice how it feels a little bit different here on the right side than it did on the left. Maybe one side is more open than the other. But whatever it is, just infusing the shape now with your breath. Breathing long and deep, relaxed and smooth. And maybe watching whatever sensations are appearing in the body as you've taken the shape, as you're breathing into the shape. Maybe there's a sense of heat rising in the body, maybe some tingling or vibrating. Just being curious along with the breath, whatever appears as we take these various different poses. And then very slowly bring the legs back to center, bring the arms back to center. On an in-breath, slowly bring your arms back up and all the way down in front of you with the palms facing down. And then we're just going to take our knees into the chest, holding on with our hands and rocking gently from side to side. Just a nice little lower back massage for a moment, invigorating the lower spine. And then on an in-breath, we're going to hug the knees in just a little bit closer to the chest. 
And as you exhale, stretch your legs up into the air, kind of into a V shape. And then inside the legs, we're going to stretch the arms up with the palms facing up. So you can really feel a stretch in your wrists. Inhale, holding the knees back in, hugging them in closer to the chest. Exhaling, making that V shape again, hands inside the legs, stretching them up as best as you can. Inhale, hugging in. And exhale, stretching everything up. So you're going to keep the shoulders on the ground as much as possible as you stretch the arms and hands up. And then inhaling the legs into the chest again. And just flowing in this way a few more times in your own way, feeling the arms and hands and wrists stretching nicely in this particular flow. I'm just going to keep going a couple more times. Last one. And then keep your legs up and just sort of relax your arms, still sort of floating gently in the air. And then I hope you can see this. We're going to stretch the fingers all the way out wide and then curl them and then make a fist. And then we're gonna stretch them again, curl and fist. Stretch, curl, fist. Stretch, curl, fist. And we're just gonna keep going. It's a really good exercise for the finger joints, keeping your legs up and maybe going a little bit faster or slower if that feels right. So you can follow the order, stretching, curling, making a fist, maybe hearing some cracking in the fingers, that would probably be a good sign. So just keep on going, just a couple more rounds. Last one. And then we're just gonna bring the right knee in to hug it in, keep the left leg up. We're going to release the right sole of the foot down into the mat. And we're going to take our left hand to the inside of the left foot and then just stretch the, the leg up towards the sky, kind of like coming into a half happy baby foot pose just on one side. And I'm just drawing that left shoulder blade down, releasing the the left side of the lower back into the ground, grounding it down. If you want to stretch your right leg all the way up on the mat to increase the stretch, that's great. If you want to go even deeper, you can even bring your right arm overhead and then release it down in back of you. And then just relaxing into the stretch, even if it's becoming a little bit more challenging. Just breathing gently into the stretch, some long and deep breaths. Keeping the shoulders relaxed, the eyes and facial muscles soft. Couple more. And then relax, bring the left leg more to the center. Relax your left arm. And we're going to bring the right arm to the outside of the left thigh. And then bring your left arm all the way out to the side on the mat or the ground. And then we're going to guide the left leg all the way over to the right as best as we can. Coming into a twist. And just go as far as it feels like you're finding your edge of the pose. If you're falling over to the right, you've definitely gone too far. So you want to still keep the back body, both shoulder blades on the ground. And then turn your head over to the left. Breathing into the twist, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the face, keeping the breath long and deep.
and enjoying each breath, each moment of the practice as best as you can. Just knowing that you're giving yourself a gift to stretch the body in all these ways. And being kind to your body by listening what, for what feels right, how you want to best express the pose. And then slowly guide the leg back to center. The left hand takes over the, again, we're gonna bring it to the inside of the left thigh, stretch the right arm out to the side this time, and then just guide the left leg over to the left as far as you can. We're not aiming for bringing it all the way down onto the ground. We're aiming for just going as far as getting a good stretch so that the shoulder blades can both still be on the ground, grounded into your mat. And then just breathe into this new shape now that you've created with your body. And feeling the openness in the chest and in the lungs. Last breath. And then very slowly guide your left leg all the way back up, bending into your right knee. And then we're gonna hug both knees into the chest again, gently rocking from side to side. Just releasing any tension from the legs, from the lower back, from the shoulders. I'm just enjoying the movement for a moment. And as you come back to center, you can just release the sole of the left foot down into the mat. We're going to bring the right hand to the inside of the right foot and then stretch it out towards the right side into a sort of half bat happy baby pose like we did on the other side feeling the shoulder blades staying grounded on the mat. And then if it feels good to you, and especially if you did so on the other side, just stretch your left leg long, stretching it all the way out on the mat. Feeling as if your hand is pressing down into your right foot, while at the same time, the right foot is pressing into the hand. So adding a little bit of a tension there between the foot and the hand stretching the arm out longer. And then if you did so on the other side, also stretch your left arm overhead and release it in back of you. So you're really opening the chest and the lungs in this particular stretch. If it feels challenging in the right arm to hold on in this way, just guiding the breath there bringing a sense of relaxation and softness as best as possible. Just two more breaths. And then we're gonna guide the right Leg to center, the left arm will take over to the outside of the right thigh, release your right arm out to the side, and then slowly guide your right leg over to the left. Going for a nice deep stretch in the leg while at the same time keeping the shoulders grounded on your mat. And if you want to, you can turn your head over to the right just to add in a little stretch in the neck. And then just feeling into the pose, feeling how the breath fills the pose. Deep and full breaths. And 
And with the next inhale, guide your right leg all the way back up. We're going to have the right hand take over again that we place to the inside of the right thigh, stretching the left arm out long to the side, and then just moving your right leg over to the right side as best as you can. So get a really nice opening on the other side, now on the right side. Keeping the shoulder blades grounded. If you want to, you can turn your head over to the left now. If it feels better, keeping it straight. Just do whatever feels right. And just softening through the shoulder blades a little bit more. Long in-breaths and complete out-breaths. And very slowly guide your right leg all the way back up. Bend into your right knee. And we're going to take a hold of the knees again with our hands and gently rock from side to side, relaxing all the muscles and the body once again, bringing a softness into the face and just feeling the ripple effects of the stretches so far as you gently rock from side to side. And as you come back to center, we're going to keep our left knee hugged in and stretch that right leg all the way out on the mat, flexing the right toes in towards the body. And then bring your arms out to the side, both arms this time. You can have the palms facing down. It gives you a little bit more support in what we're about to do. So we're going to stretch the left leg all the way out so that there's no more or just a little bit of a bend in the left knee. Flex the toes in and then gently and slowly just flexing and stretching the foot back and forth as we lower the leg down towards the ground. So keep your foot moving as you do this. And you're going to eventually let it come all the way down to release on the mat. And just take a moment here and you begin to bring the legs slowly back up, still moving your toes in this way. And we're just going to go back and forth a couple more times, lowering the legs slowly as you move your foot and then stretching it all the way back up. Moving slowly both ways, up and down. So wherever you are, we're just going to do it one more time. And we're all going to come up so that the leg is stretched up. And then lace the hands behind the back of their left thigh and just flexing the foot in a little bit more, lowering your shoulders down as best as you can. If you want to get even more of a stretch, you might even want to move your hands down towards the ankles, lift your head off the ground, holding on with your hands either side of the left foot around the ankle, and just really draw that leg in towards the chest a little bit more, maybe drawing the forehead in towards the knees. And wherever you are, just breathing here for a few rounds. Keeping the breath full and deep and smooth. Last breath. And then exhale, release, hugging the left knee back in, releasing the head if you had kept it up. 
And just stretching the knee in towards the chest for a few rounds of breath. Lengthening your right soles of the foot away from the body as you hug your left knee in. And then we're going to slowly lower the left sole of the foot down into the mat, still keeping a bend in the knee. You're going to bring the arms out to the side again, palms down for extra support as we slowly lift the, the right leg up now. And then beginning that movement again, slowly lowering the leg as you move your foot back and forth. Keeping a nice rhythm going, getting a nice stretch through the ankle, strengthening the whole leg in this movement. So we're just going to move up and down three times in our own time. Eventually, we're all going to meet with the right leg stretched up, sole of the foot stretched up towards the sky. And then we're going to lace the hands together behind the right thigh, really flexing the toes in towards the body here on the right foot. And then begin to stretch your left leg all the way out on the mat, feeling the sole of the foot stretching away from the body as you keep your right toes flexed in. And so this can be your expression, or if you want to move the hands down towards the ankle and lift your head and shoulders up, if you did so on the other side, take a moment then to really draw that leg in towards the chest and the forehead in towards the knees, all the while that you keep your shoulders relaxed and back, the eyes soft, and just breathing into the stretch now. And yes, however you want to express the stretch in your body, how it feels right to you, that's the best way. Just a few more breaths here, really experiencing the pose from the inside of the body. Last one. And then we're going to hug the knee into the chest, release the head down if it was up. And we're just going to hug both knees into the chest. And as we just hold on, grab onto each knee, we're just going to circle the hips around and the legs around, just moving the legs and knees away from the body and then bringing them back together just to get a nice lubrication here in the hip joints. So moving in a way that feels nourishing to you. We're going to do it a few more times in the other direction, continuing with the circle. And the last time we'll have the knees a little bit more tightly into the chest, stretching out the whole back and the spine. And then let yourself slowly come over to one side into a fetal position, maybe making a pillow with your arm underneath. And then the other hand can rest on the ground in front of you. And just take a moment here to take it all in, all these floor poses that we've practiced. Noticing how you feel in your body right now. And just let everything be soft in your whole body.
soft and relaxed. And when you feel ready, you can press into that hand in front of you, lift yourself up. We're all gonna meet in a, in a seated posture from here. If you can sit with your with your legs cross-legged, great. If not, maybe find another pose, maybe one leg stretched out or both legs in, whatever feels right to you and comfortable in your body right now. We're just gonna take a moment to all arrive there with our hands on our knees. If you're sitting cross-legged and just maybe, yeah, like rod, rocking from side to side. It's a good inspiration. We're just all gonna rock maybe bringing a little bit of joy in our being, into our being. So much seriousness going on in this world and it's, it's nice to just connect with our joy, maybe childlike joy inside our being. And then let yourself just come back to center, feeling your buttocks rooting down, chest in the center. And so we're going to come into a little bit of a flow. So we're going to take the left arm and then bringing it in front of us, coming over to the right and then circling it all the way around. And then coming forward again. Just stretching out that whole side body. And making that arm movement as expansive as you can, all the way in the front diagonally and then all the way back, opening that whole shoulder and arm area. It's kind of like almost becoming the conductor of a symphony. You can Make it so that it feels more joyful, just creating those circles all the way around. Maybe connecting with a sense of well-being in the body, sense of wellness. And then we're going to come over to the right side with that hand, maybe releasing the fingertips into the ground. So we're over almost by the right knee, and then we can also stretch our right hand all the way out on the back, on the mat, and just release our head down into a forward fold as we're coming into a stretch over on the right side. Keep your left buttock as grounded as you can. And maybe imagining that you're sort of the movement of the left hand is in towards the body while you're stretching the right hand away from the body, lengthening more into the, into the side stretch. And just breathing here. Feeling the breath in particularly long up and down the side body. And then just bring your torso up a little bit, maybe pressing into your left fingertips to bring your torso up. You're going to release the right forearm into the mat from here. And then keep your buttocks grounded and just lift your left arm up. And we're going to stretch it all the way over to the right as best as possible. Maybe taking a moment to sit up a little bit more so that you can draw your left shoulder blade in back of you a little bit more. Find more of an opening in the heart. And then really stretching those left finger tape tips long over to the right. And just feeling that deep and full breath alongside the left part of the body.
couple more breaths. And then exhale, release your left arm down in front of you. Come all the way up with your torso. We're going to move the arm like in that same circle, lifting both arms up now. And then as you exhale, bring the palms together and release them gently back down towards the chest. And just rest here for a moment with the palms touching one another. Maybe bringing a little bit of pressure into the palms as you're touching them together. Keeping the shoulders relaxed. And just noticing the hands lifting as you lift your breath from the belly into the chest. With each in-breath. And then feeling the shoulders relaxing with the out-breaths. And then relax your hands down again towards your knees. We're going to come into that same sequence now on the other side. So we're going to bring our right arm all the way diagonally across in front of us over to the left. And then reach it all the way up, way behind us. And then again, repeating out diagonally in front all the way back so a really nice and deep shoulder opening you can bring in your torso to add to the movement it's appreciating how that whole arm and shoulder can be stretched and open Just a couple more. And eventually, we're going to bring that right arm all the way over to the left, to the outside, coming into a side stretch from here. And so we're going to move our torso as far as we can over to the left. And we're going to have both hands facing one another parallel, relax your chin down towards the chest. And then maybe imagine that you are drawing that left hand in a little bit closer to the body and really stretching the right arm forward, the right hand forward. And just breathing into the side stretch. Relaxing your face, relaxing your chin. Breathing deep and full. Last one. And then just press a little bit into your right fingertips just to just a little bit bringing the, the torso up so that you can relax your left lower arm into the mat, reaching your right arm up overhead, and then stretching it all the way over to the left, keeping the heart center open. Your left ear can release down to the left shoulder. And you might want to press into your left hand a little bit so that you can Lengthen your right buttock down a little bit more into the mat. So really stretching out that whole side body. Keeping your heart center lifted. Deepening into the side stretch with each exhale. Two more. And then slowly come out of the pose, 
On an in-breath, we're going to lift both arms up overhead, bringing the palms together, and then exhaling slowly, the hands move down towards the heart. And we're just going to take a moment here again, just pressing the hands together, maybe as tightly as you can, relaxing the shoulders down at the same time. And just feeling the hand rising with the chest with each in-breath. Feeling the shoulders relax with each out-breath. And very slowly release the hands. We're going to find our way up to hands and knees from here. So just take yourself there slowly and mindfully. We're going to come into our accustomed tabletop position with the hands under the shoulders and the feet, the tops of the feet resting on the mat, knees under the hips. And we're just going to flow um, through a couple of cats and cows so on an in-breath, lifting the, the gaze, lifting the chin into a cow pose. And then as you exhaling, drawing the belly button in towards the spine, releasing the chin towards the heart. Inhale, returning to cow. Exhale, returning to cat. And just flowing through in our own way, a few rounds. If you want to <coughs> add an additional stretch, I'm just going to offer that for you if you wish. So as you breathe out, you can curl your toes under and then come just temporarily into a downward dog, if you wish. Inhaling back onto the hands and knees, uncurling the toes, <coughs> exhaling into a child's pose. If you want to offer that to your body in addition to the cat and cow, inhaling back to table, curling the toes. And then exhaling into a downward dog or staying just in your cat and cow flow. Inhaling back onto the knees, uncurling the toes and exhaling to child's pose. Whatever flow feels good to you. It's going to keep flowing through a few more rounds wherever you find yourself. Last one. And we'll all meet again in table pose from here. And from table pose, we're actually just going to bring our torso up and we're going to be on our knees. And the feet are just resting and back. We're going to actually come into a lunge. Maybe I should... Just do it this way. I'm not very good with these. <laughs> so we're just going to stretch the right foot forward into a lunge. So we're going to align our our uh, our heel right under the right right hip or under our right knee. And we're just going to have our hands resting on the right knee from here. Take a moment to really maybe press in the hand into the upper leg and straighten your spine. We're going to lift our left arm up overhead. And then gently arching our torso over to the right, arching the left hand over to the right, pressing the knee, the right hand into the knee. And it's a little bit of a balancing pose too, as you might notice. We're gonna breathe our left side body open again. So a lot of side stretches today, which is really good to breathe open the heart and lung. Deep and full breaths wherever you are. Last one. And then 
exhale, lower your left hand, maybe place it on top of the right for a moment. Have your chest up. And next we're gonna bring our hands down either side of the front knee. And then we're actually gonna walk the hands in towards the body and then stretch your right leg out in front of you on the mat so that you're on your right heel. Let's see if I can lower my screen a little bit more so you can actually see that. So you're gonna be on your heel and you're gonna place your hand either side, maybe at the, at the height of the knee. You're gonna take a nice deep in breath here, lengthening the heart center. And then as you exhale, let your chest just fold over the top of your right leg, releasing the chin down, releasing the head down over the knee. Relaxing the shoulders and just breathing into this deep uh, stretch, maybe in the back of the thigh that you might feel. Releasing any tension in the leg and in the thigh in particular with each out breath. How much more tension can you consciously relax from the body in this particular pose? Very gently bend into your right knee again so that the sole of the foot gets placed back into the ground. We're going to scoot the right foot over to the right side of the mat all the way out to the edge so that the toes are pointing outward. You might want to scoot your left knee back on the mat a little bit more so it becomes a little bit more of a hip stretch. You're going to have both hands to the inside of the right foot. And you can simply press the palms down. A lot of you might be able to release the lower arms down onto the mat if you're more bendable. Wherever you are, just come into the stretch that really stretches open the hip. Relaxing your head down. And just breathing into the pose. Feeling a deep opening in your right hip and breathing into it. Just a couple more breaths. And then as you inhale, move your hands in under the heart, on the ground, move your right leg back so you're back in table posture. We're gonna lower both forearms onto the ground and lace the hands together. And then you can curl your toes under. And if you want to come into the full dolphin pose, you can just begin to move your knees off the ground and then just press your heels down into the mat behind you, really bringing a whole lot of pressure into the lower arms, relaxing the head. You can also keep your knees bent if that feels more comfortable or doable for you. But we're just going to be here for a few breaths to get this good stretch through the shoulders and the lower arms. Sending the breath throughout the whole body. Just three more.
And then on the exhale, release the knees down, uncurl the toes. We're going to come into a child's pose. If you want to, you can bring the arms alongside the body with the palms facing up just to get a, an extra relaxation for the shoulders, rounding the back, releasing the forehead into the ground. And just resting the whole body here in your, in your child's pose. And then slowly let yourself come back up. We're going to start again on our knees, like we did on the other side. Maybe bringing your hands to the hip, we're going to stretch our left foot forward, coming into a lunge, aligning the heel right under the knee. And you can then bring your left hand onto the thigh and really press down to relax the hip a little bit more. Lifting the right arm up overhead, spreading the fingers wide. And then we're going to begin to arch our upper body over to the left. Keeping a slight pressure into our left palm, down into the leg. Relaxing the left shoulder and feeling that nice juicy opening on the right side of the heart as you stretch over to the left. And just send your breath into that right side body. Notice if there's any tension that's built in the eyes and facial muscles. And just bringing that intention again to relax the face, to relax the muscles in the face. Exhale, torso back to center, release your right arm out to the side and all the way back down. We're going to bring our hands either side of the, of the left foot. And we're going to stretch out the leg again. So beginning by moving the hands in towards the body and then stretching the left leg out on the mat so that you're on your heel. You can be on fingertips either side of the legs. The knee in particular, inhaling, stretching the heart center open, lengthening the spine. And then as you exhale, just fold your heart center towards the left thigh, release your head all the way down, just bowing into this forward fold, sending your breath up and down the spine, keeping your left toes flexed in towards the body. Just feeling that deeper stretch in the back of the thigh, sending the breath there. Last three. And then begin to move your hands forward away from the body so that you can set the sole of the foot back down. We're going to move the left foot out to the edge of the left side of your mat with the toes pointing out. And then we're going to place our hands to the inside of the left foot, palms facing into the ground, into the mat. If you were able to do that on the other side, just release your forearms onto the ground. Wherever you are, just relax into this deep hip opener, relaxing your head all the way down, bowing into the chest. And even in this deeper opening of the hips, see if you can soften the body, the whole body, as best as you can. 
sending the breath throughout. Just enjoying the breath here for a moment longer. And as the in-breath comes, slowly come out of the pose, hands back, legs back, coming back to a to a just a, a gentle table pose. And then if you want to, just to stretch out your whole body before Shavasana, we're just going to come into a, a downward dog so that we can just fully stretch out the body before we lie down in stillness, pressing the palms fully down into the earth, pressing the heels down in back of you, relaxing the chest down towards the mat, rotating the shoulder outwards and down. And just feeling the breath traveling up and down the spine deeply and fully. And then slowly come onto your hands and knees. Find your way all the way down onto the mat the way we started into Shavasana into our final resting pose. And I'm just gonna let you rest here in your own way, just coming to stillness for a few moments without further words. Just letting the body rest and settle and absorb all the benefits of the yoga practice in your own way. Slowly begin to move the body again, just little minuscule movements, maybe with your hands and your feet. Maybe turning the head from side to side so that the ears can turn towards the mat, giving a nice stretch through the neck. 
And if you wish, just stretching out the body, long arms overhead, feet stretching away from the hands, stretching the spine long. And then bringing the hands into the knees, knees into the hands as you rock from side to side. Coming back to center, rubbing the hands together and the feet. And let yourself release over onto one side into a fetal position one more time. Resting the head, maybe on the hand. And just take a moment here to notice one thing that you can appreciate in this moment. Just noticing how it feels right now in the body and your whole being. And when you feel ready, you can gently press into the hand and bring yourself back up to a seated position. And so we're going to inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale, bringing the palms down. Inhaling the breath all the way into the heart, feeling the hands lift, shoulders draw back. Exhale, release. I'm just bowing the head in towards the fingers, towards the heart, just taking a moment to appreciate this time that we've shared together, each other's company in the practice on this path. So thank you so much for your dedicated practice. Namaste. I hope to see you again uh, 